our main event of the evening is brought to you by Metro PCS, where nationwide 4G LTE is $40, period. Hendricks is 30, Lawler is 31, two inches taller, Robbie Lawler will have a five-inch reach advantage. Once again, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by Metro PCS, where nationwide 4G LTE is $40, period. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Executive Director William Coons. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Aladdin Martinez, Mike Gonzalez, and Doug Crosby. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliotta. This bout is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. Powered by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram, and Metro PCS, where nationwide 4G LTE is $40, period. And now, for those in attendance and USC fans watching around the world, live from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner of mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 22 wins, Nine losses, one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, introducing Ruthless Robbie Lawler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler and a striker. Holding a professional record, 15 wins, two losses. He stands. Five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, presenting Johnny Big Wing Hendricks. Okay, gentlemen. All right, guys. We're breaking rules in the locker room. Don't obey my commands at all time. Protect yourselves at all time. This is for the title. So let's have a good fight. Touch close if you'd like to. Good luck to both of you. Johnny Hendricks. Robbie Lawler. We will have a new welterweight champion for the first time in over six years here tonight in Dallas. Okay, sir, you ready? You ready, sir? Let's go fight. Here we go. Southpaw against Southpaw. Black trunks for Hendricks. White trunks for Lawler. Both have one punch knockout power. Good, Good kick by Hendricks. Right away. And Bobby Lawler's all over him. The punches. Nice, nice knee by Lawler. And backing out. Don't blink. Again with the kick. Check that time. Yep. But Johnny's definitely showing some different looks with those kicks. Be interesting to see who may go to wrestling as well. And they both have that right foot forward that they were able to shoot during their collegiate wrestling days. Aaron Simpson, Ryan Bader said, don't sleep on Robbie Lawler's wrestling. He may not be a four-time All-American and a two-time national champion, but his MMA wrestling is as good as it gets. Good left there by Lawler, and Hendricks moves in for the clinch. Johnny scored 12 takedowns in his fight with Carlos Conda. One of the things Johnny used a lot in the St. Pierre fight in the clinch was the knees to the thigh. Both against the cage and in the center of the octagon. He can throw those. One of the reasons he can throw those so comfortably is that he's got great takedown defense because of his 
spectacular wrestling. And those are very effective at slowing down the movement and taking away some of the explosion of his opponent. So far, mostly boxing from Robbie. Good I haven't seen, haven't seen knees and kicks. Good takedown defense there by Lawler. But Johnny's still, still driving. Hendricks is looking for that knee that you mm -hmm. talked yep. about. There it is, Jill. That time Robbie kind of blocked it a little bit. Didn't yeah. catch it. Oh, Got nice knee up to the face. Yeah, and a good left hand. And backs away. American top team now trained Robbie Lawler. Is that kick. kick again? Very successful with that left kick. We, I don't believe we've seen any kicks from Robbie. Now you see that blackness on the back of Robbie Lawler. One of the turnbuckers, I don't know which one it is, there's some paint on it that's coming off. We've seen it on other fighters' face earlier. We saw it on Rick Story's face. They're giving Robbie one kick, Joe. One kick or knee landed, so it may have even been a knee, so you're absolutely right. Yeah, usually... You see Robbie mix the strikes up, kicks, punches, everything. He gets wild. He's being a little more conservative, but not Johnny. Johnny's throwing a lot of kicks. And he's mixing it up yes. well. And that was a nice inside kick yes. with the right leg. So he's attacking that right leg of Robbie Lawler. And was, again, that time Robbie checked it. He's checked a couple. Ooh, good left hand. And a smile on the face. And a good jab by Robbie. Uh, Robbie Lawler. Robbie's great with the counter. Great with the right hook, overhand left. Both men appear to be very relaxed here in round one. Lawler has been scheduled for five rounds, seven times in his career, never gone the distance. Tried that lead right hook in the left hand that I just talked about. Uppercut. Right hook behind it, too. A lot of kicks by Hendricks. Showing that he's adding weapons to his arsenal. Continuing to evolve. There's a good left hand. By, oh, and another kick. And a jab. And now looking for the takedown. Just over 30 seconds on the clock here in the first. UFC welterweight championship fight. Hendricks with the lead and total strikes landed. Stats powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, Glory, Ram. 15 seconds. And again, a knee by Johnny Hendricks. And Robbie's trying to still work, guys. Final second. Right leg to block some of those. Round one. Right, Round one in the books and most likely went to Johnny Hendricks. Mark Lehman. Breathe, Johnny, breathe. Breathe, Johnny. Put some water in you. Breathe, baby, breathe. Okay, cool. Stay behind the jab. Good things are happening with it. You're hard done with the low kick. We just want you to dress it up a little bit better. You see he's waiting on it. Breathe kick first. underneath it and get your sweep. Okay. Kick right underneath the sweep. Other than that, work right off the jab. And invest the knees on the cage. Okay. Hey, when you get him up against the cage, you got to give me some Diaz or Omskis right there. That will, that's going to score and it's going to wear his legs out late in the round. I want you to take some deep breaths out. you got plenty of time left here. Yeah, that's all he's doing. That's all he's doing. Hey, he's there. Get the head motion. Keep him the jab and you can switch hands off the other side. Move your feet. Boom, boom. All right, thank you. Matt Pena has been with Robbie Lawler since we saw him fighting at 20 years old. Yeah, and Matt Pena is incredibly pleased with the progress that Lawler has made and how he's come into his own as of late. I mean, he's made the move, Joe, as we talked about, to American Top Team, but Matt's right by his side. All right, round two, round two, let's go, see. fight! Round two. There's a knot in the middle of the shin of Robbie Lawler sticking up like a mouse. And checking one of those kicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that might affect his ability to throw that right kick. It's, yeah. it's really swelling up. You can see it. He's closing on it. And he just threw it. 
Mia standing in harm's way. He tagged in the left. Loose here. Well, he's going to have to do something different than he did in the first round. And what he's choosing to do is be a little bit more elusive. That's exactly what Matt Pena talked about. Here's that jab. Hendricks pushes forward, caught with the right hand. And kick, kick again. again. Lawler right back into the pocket. Nice combination. Johnny came over the top with a good hard oh, left hand and a beautiful best. leg kick. That was his best kick so far. That was a hard kick. You know, we could go into the wrestler involving in the great mixed martial artist, but Cain Velasquez has already given us that material. Now Johnny Hendricks is trying to do it at 170. See the respect of both fighters. Both possessing that great knockout power. And so far, Johnny has been the one that's been able to land it. And there's a nice knee to the body. I like the way he's mixing things up, Mike. And there's that leg yeah, kick it. again. He's really mixing things up beautifully. This is a different Johnny Hendricks. This isn't the home run hitting Johnny Hendricks. This is, I'll take singles. I'll go four for four tonight. I'll go five for five. But this is a Johnny connected. Hendricks that's already fought for the title and understands what it's about. Conserving energy, but yet he's staying very busy. And I'm sure he's improving. There's a nice knee as well. Johnny Hendricks looks great tonight. Oh, and Robbie caught him a bit there with that left hand. With a jab, looking for the left. They are standing next to each other, Joe. Another inside leg kick, very nice. Not a lot of dancing around, is there? And when they are standing in range, it's changing. And the good rush by the body, yeah. Just under two on the clock here in the second. GSP's belt since 2008. He's taking a little time off. We hope not too long. And tonight, these two men battle for the welterweight championship. Stuff. Good takedown defense. Looking for a choke. Johnny gets out of it and lands a left hand on the break. A jab again by Lawler. Good movement by both men. Robbie moving in and out. Lala carrying in that jab. Nicely done. Caught him again. Robbie's just standing in front of him here. Looking for the home run. Yeah, he's carrying the jab and he's hoping he can come with a counter. Well, he's hoping that Johnny makes a mistake. Stands in front of him and allows Robbie to uncork a bomb on him. That's sharp. That is crisp striking from Johnny Hendricks. And a kick, an uppercut, mixing it up really well. He's done a fantastic job of diversifying his strikes, but Robbie is always dangerous. Lala gets away from the cage. 20 seconds. There's a right hook. He threw a kick there and missed. And there's a left. Ten seconds. Nice knee. Beautiful knee. And a beautiful left hand. Whoa! And he hammered him with a left hand at the bell. Look at that leg, Joe. Here for baby. All right, yes, sir. When I soak that energy up, the thing is, you got the right, the right time, but you got to just pick the rhythm up just a little bit. All right. If you want to switch that style, that's fine, but you got to just keep the rhythm up a little bit. All right. You're good. And you got to, you got to keep being first. Don't let him get off first. You have all the options here. 
Just, We're going to see where Robbie got that huge hematoma. It's right there. And there's a, another nice leg kick. And here's Lawler with a right hand. And this is the end of the round. Lawler lands this left hand. Didn't look as bad in the replay as it looked live. It looked like uh, Hendricks moved away with it. This championship battle continues. All right, the round, the round. Let's go, fight. Round three. Hendricks landing 50% of his significant strikes. And there, Robbie starts throwing kicks. There's one. Hendricks inside and outside. And there's another hard kick by Robbie. He certainly needs more of those. Nice knee by Hendricks. Another nice kick by Robbie Lawler. Yeah, like three or four to start this round, Jeff. Yeah, those are hard. I mean, he waited to this round to open up with him, and he might have caught Hendricks sleeping. Again, another one. That one checked a bit. One leg kicks landed. We just saw the couple by Lawler here in this round. Again, combination with a nice kick, 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 kick and continues. Nice knee, mixes it up beautifully. I mean, he's at 10 strike combinations right there, Joe. Fakes the takedown. Stay busy with that jab. Good left there by Hendricks. And a good jab by Robbie. Inside and over the top. With Dan Henderson. But they're standing right next to each other. They've been doing it the whole fight. Johnny Range. Johnny's just mixing it up a little better than Robbie. Right. Elbow over the, the elbow, yeah. There's a nice left shot. That might have hurt him. Yep. Oh, he's, he's hurt. hurt. Lawler hurt him. Continuing to pull. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Hendricks trying to survive right here. Robbie looking for oh, a hurt him again. again. Hendricks might be out on his feet here, Mike. Lawler looking for the finish. Can he get it? Right here. Hendricks. Wow. Trying to stay out of harm's way. Lawler again with a combination. Wow. Hendricks has got to move, Joe. He does, but I don't know if he can. A lot of time on the clock. But Robbie's a veteran, and he's got to know not to empty his gas tank here. That was a good elbow. The momentum. Nice uppercut, shifted. and that's right hand. Yep. Hendricks is in trouble, and now Hendricks goes for the takedown. And Robbie defends. Still two minutes remaining in the round. Hendricks firing back now. Has he recovered? The kick. There's a left hand over the top by Robbie. Nice. Hendricks slid right out of the way of that right hand though. That lead right hook. In the overhand left to Lawler. Hendricks with a knee. Johnny seems to have recovered, Joe. Good shot by Hendricks. Excellent shots by Hendricks. One minute. In with the knee. And a good jab by Hendricks. He's recovered now. 
Total and Robbie's strikes. arms are getting heavy. Yes. Look at the strikes he's thrown in this round. And he's landed nearly 50. But Hendricks is still standing. And he's doing much better now. Yes. You can clearly see his legs are back under him. seconds. A really good round for Robbie Lawler. The final seconds of round three set for the championship rounds. Johnny, I want you to whisper in my ear. What's going on? Water again. Mark Lehman doesn't want us to hear, obviously. That's interesting. Does he think that we're going to tell Robbie Lawler? <laughs> you were back in it after that brief moment, okay? Your boxing's fine. Your low kicks finish are fine. And your knees are fine. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my time. That's all right. Hey, hands up. Hands up. We need to stop. We need to get to one. Someone who reads Charlie, lips. You gotta stay on your horse. Johnny Hendricks just said to Robbie Lawler, but it's obviously they're concerned, and that's why that left hand had Johnny in all sorts of trouble. Here's another look at the same punch. Oh man, it doesn't land any cleaner than that. And somehow Hendricks managed to absorb it and come back, but Robbie rolled away from that. He's so crazy, he's smiling out, he's loving whole it. Time. I think he's actually enjoying it. Championship rounds. The first time Johnny Hendricks was scheduled for a five-round fight was against George St. Pierre at UFC 167. Of course, it went the distance. Robbie is catching him much more in the last round and then here than we saw in the first two. Johnny's firing back. Nice shot again. Another good left. Uh -huh. And a knee. Johnny may be in trouble again. Johnny needs a move. He might not be able to again. Nice left to the body there by Lawler. Ooh, a nice left hand by Hendricks. An inside leg kick. But he eats a jab. That was a good hard left by Lawler. Johnny's starting to get busted up. And we've seen very few high kicks by Robbie Lawler. If he can lull Hendricks to sleep, we may see him uncork a high kick. What we're seeing is what Hendricks did to Lawler in the first two rounds. Now Robbie Lawler is doing it to Johnny Hendricks. But right, here comes Big Rick. And he did it again. Nice He's left on the side. This is looks again for a takedown. Robbie has stuck five of five takedown attempts. Robbie the All-American. Robbie's doing some real clean boxing here, Mike. Avoiding the counters, rolling away from punches, mixing it up to the body. Nice left again to the body. Robbie Robbie looks bleeding clean, bad. That left eye's bleeding bad. He's hurt. And that's from that left hand of Robbie Lawler. And he's ducking under Hendricks' punch. Excuse me, right eye. Lawler looks very fresh, too. Excellent conditioning. Yeah, he's doing a good job of pacing himself, too. And there's a nice right. Yeah, the right eye of Hendricks is really looking a mess, Mike. It's starting to swell up. Yeah, it's vision will become a yeah, problem. It's probably already a problem. Robbie Lawler debuted in May of 2002 at 20 years old. 4-0 with four knockouts. When he fought Aaron Riley in Bossier City. There was a good left in there by Hendricks. And there's another left by Robbie at UFC 37. And Hendricks has been diligent with those leg kicks, but Robbie still presses forward. Here's the tie Watch clinch. Me. Here 
There's that leg kick. Beautiful leg kick after the missed combination. Leg kick lands. And that's the difference between... Oh, that's a beautiful Take uppercut. That fuck it Look at this. Hendricks coming back. And, and Robbie's smiling at him. 145 counting down here in round four. There's a nice jab by Lawler. They're both standing right. <laughs> Another good jab of each other still. Statistically, this is very close. Keep in mind when judges score the fight, they score it round by good combination by Lawler. Lawler here in round four with an advantage again, similar to round three. Rounds one and two, the advantage was to Hendricks. Robbie trying to extend that right hand and set him up with a hard left. This could come down to the fifth and final round, yeah, he's, he's looking to turn that corner and land that left hand because he thinks that Johnny probably can't see very good out of that eye. And he's probably right. There's that jab again. Keep telling him to keep that right hand up high. And there's a hard left again. There's that kick, kick, though. That kick. Oh, Johnny's very diligent with that. Just over 20. Round four. 20 seconds. And strong. Can he get a takedown? Yep. First one of the fight. Late in the round. But a round in which Lawler dominated the striking. Final seconds. I do not believe that that's enough to win that round. Right here. So what we got going here, Let the most likely, is two and two. Yep. That was a great comeback. And what we might see hey, Johnny. early in the fifth hey, look is at what me, we Johnny. just saw late in the fourth. Uh, take take okay. okay, listen to me. He only comes out strong the first minute. After that, he's fading. I need you to be super focused with Johnny Vision on. Don't get hit with shit. If you do, you got to clinch. Good right, stuff. Just play catch and counter. Let me see. All you got to do, Johnny, you win the round. This is it. This is it right, 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 right now. You have to win this round right fucking now. Take it to him. Come on, you're done. Great take out the end of the round. We need this round. You got That's the kind of corner man you want when you're in trouble. A guy like Mark Lehman who doesn't mince words. There's a left by Lawler. And there's a jab, and there's a left again. And here's a, well, we missed it. You want to punch? Robbie Lawler, Johnny Hendricks. Fifth and final round for the UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Five minutes remain. Do we see the takedown attempt early from Hendricks? Mixing things up. We just saw him fake it. One thing that Johnny Hendricks knows how to do, he knows how to win. Yep. That winning mentality that successful amateur wrestlers possess is very rare. There was a good left hand there by Robbie. And he won at the highest level and he won a lot. And part of it is knowing when to turn it on. Knowing when to really hit the accelerator and try to break your opponent. Wrestled for what many people would argue could be the greatest freestyle wrestler ever in John Smith. See if he can get him down. Good takedown defense by Lawler. But Johnny's working for it. Nice knee to the leg. And again, and that's that same leg he's been chewing up with those kicks. Well, this is a do or die round. Oh, those are hard, hard knees. And he's driving the point of the knee deep into the meat of the thigh. And our new champion, Joe, could be determined truly in the next three and a half minutes. This fight has been that close. I would say definitely. Yeah. Unless the judges are incompetent. And the only thing that can make it cloudy is that takedown, but I just don't think it was enough. We had seen the numbers beforehand. The striking was pretty dominant in that round. Yeah. 
This might be the biggest takedown attempt of Hendricks' life. The thing right, is, right, who separate. does this exhaust hands more? Up. Does it exhaust Hendricks more or does it exhaust right. more Lawler more? Lawler comes right out with a jab. Now, Lehman said, get through the first minute with your Johnny vision and then do with some that punishment. Kick, that kick made him limp. Yep. This is about as close a fight as we've seen. They land a good left hand there, but Johnny again lands that leg kick, which takes away from the punches of Lawler, whether you realize it or not. Nice sprawl. Lawler is not able to push off that right leg the same way he was in the first round. Doesn't mean he can't knock you out. Long for head movement, the corner of Lawler. What a battle. Exactly what we expected from two very, very good strikes. There's a good right hook by Waller. And Another again. one. Hendricks tries to answer and he does. Robbie got wobbled there. It yes, might be exhaustion. It might be limping from that leg kick. And again, Johnny's trying to pull it on. Jab, jab. There's a good left hand by Hendricks. And, and another again. one. And another one. forward. The crowd reacts here in Dallas. <laughs> yeah. 90 seconds Up remain. Robbie Lawler standing right in front of him. Another big kick. Hendricks is coming on strong. Robbie Lawler is wobbly, Mike. Yes, he is. And it's hard to tell what from. Whether it's the punches, whether it's the leg kicks, whether it's exhaustion. That's a left hand that hurt. And again, and Robbie kick. slowed down tremendously. Hendricks. Wants the takedown, and he's got it! Huge takedown for Johnny Hendricks! And that's the competitor in him. Knowing that that's the move right there, to secure this round. Embrace the grind. Well, this is just an intelligent move if he wants to secure the title. He's winning this round. Yep. 40 seconds to go, Robbie just looked up the clock and he looks disappointed, he's shaking his head. 24 Whoa, minutes in, he goes to what he's done his entire life, goes to his wrestling. Robbie just grabbed the cage. He's gonna try to get up, but Hendricks has oh, his hands so clasped behind wrong. the knees, or excuse me, behind the hips. Robbie's out of gas, Joe. He certainly is. Hendricks, Hendricks with more strikes landed in this round. He's taking the title right here. Yep. In this round, it came down to the final five minutes, and with a minute left, the four-time All-American, two-time national champion, gets the biggest takedown of his life. That may have done it. What a fight. Lawler was all over Hendricks in round three and in round four in our fight replay is brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. There's a beautiful left hand by Robbie Lawler. Now here's a beautiful counter by Hendricks that hurt Robbie Lawler. It was a combination of the punches, the diversity of the attack, and the leg, the leg kicks paying off. Well, we saw Robbie really wobbling in that last round. And then these punches, and then finally the takedown. Tied up the legs, stepped over them, and in my opinion, secured the title. Two takedowns for Hendricks. The second may have earned him the UFC welterweight championship. The judges are rendering their decision. A new champion at 170 for the first time since 2008. Both men left it all in the octagon tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48, 47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Johnny Big Rig Hendricks! Johnny Hendricks is the champion! champion. How does it feel, my friend? Oh my god. Dude, Robbie's fucking tough. Alright? Um, god dang. Um, I feel very blessed. Um, I know the first two were mine. Second, third, he sort of caught me. I don't know why I was thinking. In the fifth round, I knew I had to win it. And, uh, I did. Thank you, guys! Thank you! Thank you to my team right here! Thank How does this feel to win this in your Texas. Oh man, it means everything, guys. Thank you. Thank you to you guys. Right here. Right there. See my wife? Where's my wife? There she is. Hi. This is because of her, my three little girls, all team takedown, all family friends, my coaches. Gosh dang. Uh, most importantly, thank God. Thank you guys too for having the UFC. Hey. Thank you for an amazing fight. Johnny, it, it seemed like you had won the first two. He had won the, set, the, 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 the third and the fourth. Yeah. It really boiled down to that fifth round and you dug deep. What was going through your mind when that fifth round started? I was doing shit. Uh, I hope my right arm starts working. <laughs> uh, you know, Robbie's a tough dude. I'm not going to take nothing away from him. Are you kidding me? This guy's a stud. I promise you I'll be facing him again. And uh, when we do... Hopefully I can put on a better performance. This is a fantastic performance. There are no better performances than this, my friend. Congratulations. You are the UFC welterweight champion of the world. Johnny Hendricks, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you guys. All right, I'm here with Robbie Lawler. Robbie, it was a great fight. He looked like he had the first two rounds. You started coming on in the third and the fourth. Give us your thoughts on the fight, and give us your thoughts, especially on the fifth round. Uh, he's one hell of a fighter here. I was trying to roll with stuff and come back. Uh, he was just taking it to me, and he, uh, he got a couple takedowns, and uh, he fought one hell of a fight. Hats off to him. One of the things that we noticed in this fight was that you weren't throwing very many kicks. Was that because you were trying to avoid the takedowns? We also noticed that you developed a pretty big welt on your shin early in the fight. Oh, yeah, I checked a kick, and... Uh, no, I just didn't feel like it was there. The kicks wasn't there. Maybe I should have went to the leg a little bit more. But hats off to him. He fought a hell of a fight, and uh, I'm going to come back strong. Was there anything surprising about this fight to you? No, not really. I just needed to do a little bit more, and he did enough to win, plain and simple. You're very gracious in defeat. We look forward to seeing you again. You're a great fighter. Robbie Lawler, ladies and gentlemen. We have literally watched this young man grow up in and out of the octagon.